Hey y'all and welcome to the Crawford Institute of Pop Culture Collectibles for this week's top 10. I'm going to go back to an oldie but a goodie, the uh, Batman black and white statues. Started by DC Collectibles, now being done by McFarlane Toys. Uh, McFarlane has uh, actually done a couple of them now and has a couple more uh, in coming out. So I left myself some space down here. I did some rearranging knowing that I would need to add them in. Let's start with number 10. This list is going to be different than the last time I did it, which was about six years ago. But I am going to put in the number 10 slot, Sergio Aragonis. Now, I'm going to butcher people's names. Hopefully I got that right. I have met the artist a couple of times. He's a terrific guy. For those of us who love Mad Magazine when we were young, um, you'll recognize his artwork. And having a kind of cartoony version mixed in here with all these serious and, you know, important Batman. Just, uh, I love it. In the uh, number nine spot is the one by Jason Fabok. Now, this one is uh, from the New 52 designs. Don't love it from that perspective. You know, the Tron-like suit uh, doesn't do a lot for me. But the, the design, the artwork with the uh, folded over flapping cape flowing out and back and the angle to the body and head, I just really like the stance on this one. And it grew over me. It grew on me over time. Now, in the number eight slot, and yes, I am actually doing these in order, Woo, is the work from Frank Miller. I am not a huge Frank Miller fan in general, but this statue I like is so much that I ended up with two of them. I actually did buy this, the re-release they did with the different bat symbol. And it's, I think, the diamond or the, the knife edge kind of cut to the cape uh, that really makes me uh, like this one. Of course, I do like Miller's huge bat design on the chest. And the uh, rope, uh, sculpted rope there, is also very nice. I do like them dynamic more than anything else. And you can't get much more dynamic than this version by Jock. Um, as you can see, he's diving off of the shelf. This is one you really need to display above eye level so you can appreciate it. They've done a number of Batman in uh, sort of Elseworld kind of ways. There's a vampire Batman... There's a bat monster. But the one in that line that I like is the Neil Adams bat zombie. We didn't get a lot of detail like this on the statues all the time. A lot of texture, a lot of detail. And I love how he's stepping off the base where it's so it makes the base sort of part of the uh, look rather than just uh, a support system. But I don't have to have them uh, to be uh, super dynamic for me to love them. This one by David Mazzucchulli. Mazzuccelli, 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 there you go, I think that's the right way you say it, is uh, gorgeous. I think the artwork here, again, is just about perfect. I love the flow and hang of the cape, the way it's hanging off one shoulder and slightly open in front. It just looks great. Proof you don't have to do a super dynamic design to really still have a striking piece of art. But, again, I do like those dynamic ones. So, coming up in the fourth spot, is the uh, Dustin Wynn version of uh, Batman Beyond. Leaping, flying, you can see the one next to him sort of has a similar design, but I think that the little plastic uh, wings on the inside, the clear plastic wings, really sold me on this one, making it uh, top four for me. Now Bruce Tim is going to take over in the next spot <sighs> with his design. Another gorgeous uh, uh, pose. I love the flowing cape. They've got him suspended in air. And he's just about ready to punch your face up. Bruce Tim did my number two as well, and that's Harlequin. Now, Harlequin is the only one here I'm putting in my top ten. I have all the villains, all the extra characters that they did in the black and white series, but Harley's the only one that's going to make it in the top ten. As much as I love Margot Kidder in the newer designs, I have to say that it's this design uh, of the original character that had us all fall in love with her. But let's talk number one. It has been number one forever. It will remain number one probably forever. And that is the Mike Mandola. Now, again, I liked it so much I bought the second version I did. But the first version is still the winner. He's such a terrific looking figure. And the paintwork on him is just so cool. So those are my top ten. Batman Black and White. 
I'll be back on Wednesday with another tour of the CIO PCC. See you then. Make sure you subscribe so you get the updates. Talk to you later.